all right all right all right all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as it is in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping uh you could be the first we'll collect them all right let's go down to the news proper as it is you don't share it uh, as it be, um, I hear say the bad boys where they do the bad bad things for Bodo. Uh, they don't move now from taking other people. The people where we say uh, they they take now and people where they call priest them. <laughs> as it be, I say um, waiting concern kidnapper and watching the character manu. Um, remember say Bible don't talk him. He say touch not my anointed. Um, and do my prophet no harm uh, because I see the bee. Hmm. My hand no deal. Yeah, but um, now, uh, make we go to the full detail of the information. Make you see. I see the bee. Uh, I see the bee now. They say panic. Don't they for South East. Oh, as that devil government abduct Catholic priest and one other. They call them the dear devil. <laughs> ha. No be smarting. The priest and another man identify as Uchanna new man. Who drove the priest in a Volvo Jeep? Yeah, kidnapped at Ore Ama Junction around 8 p.m. on Thursday. Come men on Thursday night kidnapped the Catholic priest of St. Michael's Catholic Church Parish in Umwekebi community in Osowere Autonomous Community in Ishiala Mbano local government area of Imo State. Reverend Kafara Kinsley Eze, popularly known as Father Ichie. The priest and another man identified as Uchanna new man who drove the priest in a Volvo Jeep were kidnapped at Ore Ama Junction around 8 p.m. on Thursday. Apart from the kidnap, the priest and the man who drove him, the pre criminals also robbed shop owners at the junction before leaving the scene. A parishioner who doesn't want to be mentioned told Punch that the congregation we are terrified by the abduction of the priest and the other person. A source said, It is true, our parish priest, Reverend Father Kinsley, as a popular known as Father Ishir, has been kidnapped. He was kidnapped alongside Mr. Uchenna Newman at Oriama Junction on Thursday around 8 p.m. They alighted in a Volvo Jeep to buy something at the junction before they were kidnapped. The attackers also robbed business men at the junction. This is so unfortunate. We sincerely pray for the safe return of our parish priest and Mr. Uchen now. They came with two motorbikes and as they were going, they took the car belonging to the priest and the artisan. They also shot and unfortunately one person was hit by the bullet. The injured victim was rushed to a hospital very late last night. The spokesperson for the police in the state, Henry Okoye, had yet to react to the incident. So our reporters on Thursday reported that government, who were on the rampage in Imo State, struck again, killing a businessman who is based in Ogutuluku government area of the state. The businessman, Linus, more popularly known as Sakatan, was killed at his country home at Umweze Ikibo, in Eboma community in Ogota local government area early hours of the day. They shot him repeatedly, making sure he was dead before they left the scene. Sir reporters had reported that the Imo State Command of Nigerian Police Force confirmed the gruesome killing of the traditional ruler of Otulu Autonomous Community in Ezinihite by Se Council area of the state. Israel Highness Eze Joe Achilo, according to reports, some gunmen operating as kidnappers allegedly shot and killed the ruler last Saturday evening. His assassination is coming barely 24 hours after the government also assassinated the world chairman of the People's Democratic Party in the nearby Ife Abodim Chikonez Award in the same as in Hitembise, local government area of the state, Chidieze Dem Ayamu. Uh, when I don't see as it happen, mm -hmm. um, all these things where they happen, uh, you need to understand that 
and all these things, why all this information, why they bring you where they happen, you know they happen for Kavanchan, you know they happen for Damaturu, you know they happen for Kwarangida, you know they happen for Otu or where. Uh, where these things they happen uh, and are for Alibo, Alibo, Alibo. Uh, I continue saying this thing uh, of Alibo a thing, and uh, we strategically tell you that um, what is happening recently in Alibo, uh, uh, even though some of these things were there. But things like um, kidnap and the rest of them were, they were like, you know, a foreign news. It, it was more like, you know, telling folk tales, you know, to the children. When you start talking about the issue of kidnap and the rest of them, these things were things that were foreign to Ndibo themselves. Uh, but as it is now, it looks as if it has become a norm uh, happening in the community. And um, the question is, how are we going to curb these things? I don't know if you are getting my point because he asked when I robo afo or megene or womanale. Now politics in Alibo has become something else. It seems as if other people are even becoming better than Ndibo and when it comes to politics these days because some um, Igbo people we are known for uh, one of the place of free and fair election and um but these days things have started changing politics has become a game of do or die affair uh, this time and um the youths are, are going haywire because the government have refused to provide work because had it been that the government provided work for the people it could have been very easy it could have been very simple it could have been the easiest way of making things work out because I will always say it that an idle man, oh, Kwano Devil's Workshop, oh, <laughs> now by idle man, and uh, I dear devil go be in your house, say, hey, you and I today, you and I will leave as one. Oh, yo, yo, one, you and I will leave. You and I will leave. You and I will leave as one. And I saw it, they be, and I waiting. A devil can talk for man where we say no get hand work. Uh, because man will no get waiting in the work, he go to think plenty, plenty things, and also uh, bad, bad thoughts go to enter in brain. I bet government uh, make una, make una try, do something. It get one information why I want to bring it to you now because it concerns you. As long as we see there for this Nigeria, Nigeria money now, our money things where we say they happen for Niger, uh, we need to they carry them out, put them too. Nigeria Anti Graft Agency EFCC arrest music executive Oboni in Lagos for alleged $250,000 fraud. Also, Tiela, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission has arrested a Nigerian music executive, Mr. F. Oboni, for alleged $250,000 fraud committed in the United States of America. Oboni was arrested in Lagos State on Tuesday by EFCC operatives after he was traced to a hotel. In the Porsche Ikoi area, so our reporters gathered. His source in the Anti Graft Commission also confirmed the arrest to Sarah reporters on Wednesday evening. He has been arrested by EFCC. He was arrested at a hotel in Ikoi, Lagos on Tuesday, he said. Sarah reporters had in July 2022 reported that Obeni was dragged before the United States District Court of Western Tennessee by Prime Reality Ventures LLC, a venture capital capital company in the US for alleged defrauding the company and its principal to the tune of $250,000. The defendant on MFA Obweni, Olayinka Odunale, and Nelly Wabu were facing numerous charges on conspiracy of taking money by false presents. According to the court document obtained by Sahara reporters, Obweni alongside two others committed the crime between July 2021 and September 2021. Una <laughs> uh, my people, anything where you there for you as they do, make you there careful. Uh, because those people, they they very calculated. Uh, they, if they don't find you today, uh, they will find you tomorrow. Meanwhile, uh, on open our park and po. Now here I go to wind down the curtain. And if now your first time, we will be say you the carry body join us. 
uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping you will be the first one collect them thank you for listening god bless you mm -hmm.